Hey, Joe. What? What would you do for a keto bar? We'll find out right right after after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two Two Crazy Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I am super excited about this one. It's ice cream day. <laughs> it's ice cream day. So these are keto pint bars. We have been looking everywhere for these things. Yeah, people kept messaging us like, hey, have you tried these? Are you going to do a review of them? And we couldn't find them anywhere. I know they are available in some stores like HEB and Safeway and Albertsons and even some Whole Foods, but... None of ours have them. They came to Costco, though, just in time for summer. Yeah, one of our subscribers, Joe, uh, messaged us who he lives in our area, and he's like, hey, our local Costco's finally, finally got these. We were like, grab the keys, let's go. So we ran down and got them, and I'm really excited about these. These are keto ice cream bars. This is the sea salt caramel flavor. Sea salt caramel. I am so stinking excited. Now, one of the things I'm really excited about is we love the enlightened bars because I like the bar factor. It's just like a control issue. Yes. Because when you give us a pint, first of all, we try to be good about it. So we measure everything out. You're supposed to get four servings. Do you hear that try in there? Yeah, we do like weigh everything out. But of course, there's always that one or two spoons that hit my mouth before anything hits the scale. And then you get in trouble with your wife because it's not equal, it's not fair. But this is a bar and a bar means I get all of it and when it's done, it's done. And there's no negotiation and I love that. So you ready? We're gonna try one of these. We'll just do one of them since we are like in our little bit of a cut so we're not gonna each eat our own ice cream bar. Though I really want to. Yes, me too. Okay. So it's sea salt and caramel. So I'm wondering, is it like caramel ice cream? Ooh. Ooh. So it's a hard shell on it. I'm already excited about that. You want the first bite? Yeah, yes. Hmm. Reminds me of magic shell. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like hard shell. I'm not tasting any caramel hmm. or salt, <laughs> hmm? right? It just tastes like... I definitely get the chocolate. It's really good. The chocolate is awesome. The chocolate is awesome. The the ice cream... Like ice milk. It's not a super creamy texture. It like is, ice milk. Let me see if you... I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera. But if you look in there, it's kind of, it's not super creamy like when you get into the Enlightened or the Rebel Creamery. It's a little bit like an ice milk. It's a little bit like a diet bar. If yeah. Had diet ice cream, it's like a diet ice cream. I kind of want to get it without the chocolate. Oh, wait, there's chocolate on my finger. Look at that. It's a bonus chocolate. The chocolate is on point. Mm-hmm. It's the ice cream. Let me try the ice cream. Yeah. Try to like use, get the chocolate away from you. Get away. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's more like a vanilla ice cream with maybe a hint of caramel, but mostly vanilla. I don't taste I'm not caramel. getting really much a sea salt caramel kind no. of flavor. Which I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, but don't tell me sea salt caramel. Yeah. You want to put just this through five vanilla. things? Yes, five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, so number one, the ingredients. Now, there is a little bit of copy here on the back. So this is created in the Pacific Northwest, which is why we live on the Southeast. And why it took so long to get to us. taking so long to get to us. They use premium ingredients. It says, our mission is to energize the world with healthier foods that taste great and truly make a difference. That's a lofty goal. There's also says gluten-free, soy-free, no added sugar, MCT oil, and BST-free milk. Okay, or RBST. Okay, so the ingredients. Cream, 
whole milk, salted caramel base, which is water, sea salt, caramel, natural flavor, annatto extract for color, xanthan gum. Then there's chocolate coating, which is unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, coconut oil, cocoa butter, MCT oil, and sunflower lecithin. Egg yolks, erythritol, non-GMO chicory root fiber, milk protein concentrate, non-GMO tapioca fiber, vegetable glycerin, sea salt, non-GMO guar gum, stevia, monk fruit, non-GMO gum acacia. That all sounds great. It's got really good ingredients. If there's any ingredient that anybody's gonna question, it's the tapioca fiber. I like the number one, the fact that it's non-GMO. Number two, it is way down on the list. But overall, my... I think the ingredients are really, really good. My brow is furrowed, or furloughed, what is that, furrowed? Okay. Like, mm, I don't know, furrowed, a furrowed brow. Furloughed means like you're like laid off of work. Yes. Okay, so my furrowed brow is because the first ingredient is cream, mm -hmm. so I'm expecting like super creamy. And right. I gotta tell ya, I can't get over the fact that the, the vanilla in the middle doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, well, we can maybe we can get into that when we get to our tastes and stuff because I have definitely some points on the same thing. But the ingredients are great. The ingredients overall are great. Let's talk about number two. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? So there's 12 servings in this box. There's 12 of these bars. Okay. Serving size is one bar, 170 calories, 17 grams of fat, three grams of protein. So it is much higher wow. in fat than protein. Nice. 11 total carbs. Okay. Two grams of dietary fiber. Seven grams of sugar alcohol, so it's two net carbs. So here's what I have to say about that. Fantastic. I love the fact that there's very little fiber in it. It's only two grams of fiber, and I it's mostly sugar alcohol. It's only 11 total 11 carbs. 11 total carbs. So as somebody who follows, when I'm eating ice cream, we do total carbs because right? it's a processed thing. So even on our dessert day, we always say, even if we do net carbs, we don't ever want to go over like 30 total carbs, 35 maybe, but still no less, no more than 20 but, net. But this won't be a problem. But I could have this, considering our average day is five to eight total carbs, I could actually have one of those and still be under my 20 total carbs almost every single day. Yeah. Even with vegetables. I like that. I do too, and it's got like nice, good fat in it. Lots of fat, not too bad in calories. As overall. a dessert, you don't have to worry about the fiber being yeah. like the totality of the carbs. I think it's awesome. So yeah. yeah, ingredients are awesome. Nutrition label is awesome. Number three, how does it taste? So the chocolate is on point. Mm -hmm. Like it's magic shell to me, on point. But the vanilla is what's what's getting me. I think if they had just said it's it's vanilla and chocolate, it's a chocolate bar with vanilla, then I'd be okay. But it's because I'm I, I think I had my my sights my standard up real high. I can get past the I don't taste a lot of caramel. Oh, I see a little bit of right there. <laughs> How cute are you? I can get past the caramel because it could be the caramel is being. I think the caramel flavoring is being hidden by the chocolate because the chocolate is, is the really good. Yeah. I, I cannot explain how good the, the chocolate is like on par with a Klondike bar's chocolate. It really is. It is that good of a chocolate. Yeah. Definitely doesn't taste like an erythritol keto sweetened chocolate. No. So I think the caramel flavoring is getting hidden by the chocolate. Mm -hmm. What I'm struggling with is the texture of the ice cream. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. No. But it's not enlightened texture. It's if like, you look at bar to bar, keto bar to keto bar. It's it ice is, milk. It's ice milk. It's it's a step above ice milk. Here's you know what I'm gonna say? It's on par with like the Dolly Madison bars you would get from is it Dolly Madison? Yes, yeah, Dolly Madison. Is right? it? The I don't little, know. The ones off the truck? Yes. The different ones you would get off of the ice cream truck. Things like, you know, the ice cream you would have in the strawberry shortcake bars and the chocolate eclair bar, right? It's not the greatest ice cream in the world, but it's no. it satisfies the need. Yeah, it's not a it's not ice cream parlor ice cream. It's, it's not, not gelato. No, it's, it's not. It's not a carry brown ice cream. No, <laughs> it's not fancy pants ice cream, but it's doing its job as mm. ice cream. The chocolate is amazing. And I think this would be a great thing for kids, now, right? Now, here's the thing now. I can actually look past the texture of the ice cream if I want a quick ice cream treat because of number four. Because number four is how much do they cost? How much does it cost? I got this box of 12 bars from Costco for $11.99. A dollar a bar? A dollar a bar. Okay, done, sold. So now sold. I can kind of say yeah. like, okay, the flavor is pretty good. 
The texture of the ice cream is so, so it's again, like I say, on par with the ice cream bars you would get from, you know, like going to Aldi and buying the Aldi brand or the ice cream truck. Here's the thing. This will not be my birthday dessert. Right. Okay. This will not be my anniversary dessert, but this will be my Monday night. You did a good day of adulting dessert. <laughs> Heck yes. I, I'm not even looking at it for me. Here's what I'm looking at. If you have kids and you want to give your kids an ice cream Change treat. Change them now. Stop giving them the Briars ice cream stuff that's in the store that's got lots of chemicals. Drumsticks. Stop giving them the drumsticks and the and the thing the boxes from Aldi's. Is it a couple of dollars more than the stuff from Aldi's? Yeah. Yes. It's a dollar a bar. What do we spend a dollar on with our kids? Garbage, mostly. Yes. And they're not, you know, ice cream connoisseurs that they're going to be like... This doesn't taste like the uh, the wine that I'm used to. Yes. They're just going to be like chocolate and ice cream and cold and summer and yay. So kids are going to love this. Yeah. I'm telling you, kids are going to love it. I mean, again, and then as an adult, I don't think it's bad. Do I prefer Enlightened? Yes. Do I prefer, you know, Killer Creamery or Rebel Creamery? But a dollar yes. a bar? But a dollar a bar? And here's my advice as a parent, from one parent to another parent or grandparent or aunt or uncle that is presenting this, do not Lion King this. Like, hey guys, wanna taste sugar-free keto ice cream? They won't know. Take the wrapper off of it and hand it to them and I'm telling you, they are not gonna know. They're not gonna know. So, so that leads to number five. Would we recommend it? I think we yes. answered that. Yes, I mean, it is not top shelf, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be. It's a dollar a bar, and this is going to get us through the summer, and there's no sugar in it, and yeah, I'm happy. So here's my take on recommending it. If you're the kind of person how we usually are, where you eat ice cream maybe once a month, where we used to eat it every single week. Right. Now we're down to maybe once a month, unless it's like keto chow ice cream. Maybe you want to... Step it up a little bit, splurge, spend $5.00. Get a you know a, a Rebel Creamery from the store, or go buy the Enlightened bars, which I think have awesome flavors. Um, if you want to have an ice cream bar every two or three days, this is and the don't want to break the bank. This is the one to get. Maybe have them bowl. Have one for a super special treat. Have this one for every ever couple days. I can fit eleven total carbs into my macros. Yeah. I want a little something. I don't want to spend three dollars a bar. A dollar a Here's bar. Here's where you go. Sold. Now again, I know it is available in some stores. The only store around us is Costco. I already checked because our Whole Foods don't have it because they do have a couple of other flavors as well. They have like a mint chip and a peanut butter, but this is Again, all they have in Costco by us. Based on what the middle tastes like, go into it thinking I'm going to be getting an ice cream bar that's vanilla icing with, you know, ice cream with the chocolate around it. Just yeah. don't go in there thinking I want to taste artisanal ingredients or something. Again, if you go into it with, I'm getting a bar from the ice cream truck, you're going to be super happy. You're going to be super stoked. If you go into it like, I'm going to Cold Stone or I'm getting a haagen yeah. bar, you're no. going to be disappointed. Right. So, well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried Keto Pint Bars. Let us know if you think we're wrong. Let us know if you think you guys are crazy and that is the greatest ice cream bar in the world. Or, or let us know. The worst. That it's the worst bar in the world. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.